So I came to a pretty big realization about myself this past year. Um, it's something that's always been kind of crawling beneath the surface of my entire experience with Pokemon, but I never really thought about it. I never acknowledged it. Things that when I look back to how I like watched the show and played the games as a kid, like the signs were all there, but it's only coming to a head now as I'm sitting there reading the bug out event details for Pokemon Go and realizing as I'm looking at all these new spawns, as I'm looking at the new raid boss and the bonuses that I've never been more excited for an event in Pokemon Go, but I had to stop myself and think like, this doesn't make sense. Like this event's not that special. Like, why am I so excited about this? And then I realized it's the bugs, man. I, I'm a diehard bug type fan. Like I'm the bug catcher kid uh, or the, I don't know, maybe the bug maniac? Bug maniac is older, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm too old to be the kid. But anyway, that's me 100%. And look, to be clear, this is not something that I consciously chose. Like, I was never the type of person to say like, oh yeah, this is my favorite typing, or this is gonna be my gimmick. Like, I just played the games very straightforward. I just, I was Ash, and I was trying to catch them all, and beat the game. Like, I didn't think, I just honestly didn't think that deeply about like, which Pokemon types were my favorite. But I have to call myself out because as an adult, when people ask me like, what's your favorite Pokemon? Or like, what do you think are the coolest shinies? Like inevitably I'm giving bug type answers. And there's no better example of this than my first ever best buddy, shiny Caterpie. I was so stoked when I finally caught one of these because not only were they pretty rare and still are, you know, we haven't had like a community day for Caterpie yet. Um, I just, I just like this little worm, right? Like his whole evolution line is great. He's got such an important spot in the show's history. Like he's the first Pokemon that Ash catches in the wild. And I'm not even saying that like Caterpie is my favorite design in the Pokemon series or anything like that. It's just that I have an inexplicable draw towards Caterpie. Like there's just a strong emotional connection there that I can't really describe. So I have to say he's my favorite. I mean, it's just by default. Um, and then of course, as a kid, I'm looking at Scyther with these like two giant scythes as arms. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that Pokemon. And that brings us right to Gen 2, right? Because Scyther's evolution is just really cool. Like, does anybody hate Scissor? Does anyone think that that's like a bad design? And we're getting Mega Scissor for this event. Like, that's definitely a big reason why I'm talking about all this right now. Like, I'm pretty, pretty hyped for that. And then what else we got? Yanma is in Gen 2. Amazing blue shiny. Also love his evolution. Oh, and we can't forget about Heracross, who we actually get as a regional spawn down here in South Florida. Very on brand for me as a Florida man bug type catcher. Um, love Heracross's design. He's such a good boy. The horn, wait, is that a, does the girl have the thing or is it the, it's, he's a good boy. Look at that, look at that good boy. Fantastic shiny as well. And maybe you could argue a lot of these have been like nostalgia picks. Like, I, yeah, I'm a gen one -er. I kind of stopped playing the main series after like gen three. But I, I gotta admit, even the bug types I don't recognize, I'm kind of digging them. <laughs> like, I didn't know what a Genesect was until it showed up in raids. I don't even like the color red that much, and I was so stoked to get this shiny Genesect. So yeah, even though I don't have any like emotional attachment to Genesect, like I don't know where he showed up in the games or like in the show, I just objectively think he looks cool. And it's like a little bit goofy that he's like a tank, but a lot of bug type are kind of goofy designs. Um, I could say that about the other new ones. There's too many to even really go through. And then of course the final detail that I think really does make me a bug type trainer is that bug type Pokemon are the worst Pokemon in the game. Like stats wise, there's no argument. They underperform and under deliver um, in most contexts, like with PVE, PVP, they're not usually a good pick. And essentially, if you're going to commit to a bug type team, you're basically playing the game on hard mode. And that is so me. I, that, is, that fits me to a T, man. If, if you watch me play Brilliant Diamond, you know that I built like a bug only team for that. And it was rough. Uh, but yeah, what can I say? I, I enjoy the challenge. And speaking of challenge and skill, I kind of love the gimmicks that they're using for this bug out event. And call me crazy, but I think Niantic is even acknowledging this, that being a bug type trainer takes skill. They're like, no, 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 no. with bug types, you gotta earn it. We're not just gonna turn on bonuses for everybody. You have to land great throws and excellent throws to get your increased XP, to get
get your increased chance at an XL candy. Um, and I like that. I think that really speaks to the bug maniac inside me. Oh, and did I forget to mention that there's basically a hidden Wurmple community day in this event? I'm sure you know about this new gimmick with raids, where if you do an in-person raid with enough people, it'll cause a bunch of spawns to appear after you complete the raid. Um, but with the bug out event, those spawns are going to be based on a featured Pokemon of that day. And guess which Pokemon is leading the charge on the first day? It's my boy Wurmple. Not only that, but they're dropping Wurmple on a Wednesday, which is raid hour. The highest concentration of raids you can possibly do. And each one's going to be triggering Wurmple spawns. Like, this is going to become a mini Wurmple community day. And I am so excited. Oh my god. Bug. Speaking of bugs, and listen, I'm not going to give anything away, but if you don't have a shiny Wurmple yet, you might want to get one, like, as soon as possible. Like, I have, I've got some plans, okay? Just just a side, just a little side note. If you get a shiny Wurmple during this event, keep it. Don't, don't evolve it yet, okay? I'm not going to tell you why, but if you get a shiny Wurmple, just, just hold on to it. But yeah, just the amount of goofy stuff happening with this event, the fact that it's themed after some of my favorite Pokemon, this is gonna be a great chance for me to catch up on my shiny bug decks, which is gonna be one of my long-term goals for the game moving forward. Um, these are all the bug types that I still need shinies of, so fingers crossed that this event goes well. I'll check in afterward. Oh, oh, and how could I forget that the bug catcher pose is coming? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna unlock that, and I'm gonna put it on, and I might not ever take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, but yeah, on that note, um, have you ever thought about what your Pokemon trainer class is? I did make a video on TikTok earlier asking people this question, got a lot of great responses. But if you're having trouble identifying a class for yourself, uh, you might need to get some help. So you can either ask a friend to do it for you, or you can go to some of these online quizzes, which I'm actually going to be doing on stream uh, pretty soon. Oh, and I'm ready to defend myself against these quizzes, by the way. Like, they don't know me. Ten questions and you think you know me? Yeah, maybe use it as a starting point, but like, don't let, don't let them tell you what you are. You know, you just, you're just getting, just get a hint and then, you know, decide for yourself. And if you find anything interesting, uh, drop it in the comments and let me know. Um, have a good bug out event. Let's go bugs. Let's get covered in bugs. What are we doing? I'm not gonna, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough. We're gonna end. <laughs>